everyone. My name is Valerie Grant, Managing Director for Geotech Vision, a company located in Kingston, Jamaica, with a second office in Georgetown, Guyana. At Geotech Vision, we specialize in delivering location information for actionable intelligence along with innovative ICT solutions and professional services. We aim to empower customers, staff and associates as we work towards a knowledge society while we make location information and spatial technologies accessible to persons everywhere. And we've managed to do that in 15 countries across the Caribbean. We decided to support Girls in ICT Day because we consider it a grassroots initiative that is open to girls to help them understand the various opportunities that exist for choosing careers in ICT. I hope that through this initiative, you will become more aware and will become more empowered to really contemplate and to work towards a career in this rapidly growing, exciting field of ICT. We decided to participate in the International Girls in ICT Day Caribbean Hackathon as we felt exposing girls to the power of wear is absolutely critical. Spatial technologies is not very known, yet location is such a very critical part of everything that we do. That is why when you go to your school each day, they're all located somewhere. When you go to the supermarket, it's located somewhere. When you decided to go to play with your friends, that's somewhere. And so location is a part of everything that we do. And therefore, it is a part of some of our most enduring problems. And we should pay a lot of attention to it. So we wanted for girls to discover and explore the benefits of geographic information systems. And so we wanted to be able to showcase some of the uses of GIS. For me, I got into GIS and technology purely by accident. In fact, it was one of my university professors who said to me when I was doing my geology degree that you cannot be a geologist without doing some form of computerized mapping. And that was why I decided to take a look at geospatial technologies and then I decided to do a master's in it. Again, at the insistence of one of my mentors, I could not have made a more exciting career choice. And so, I feel personally responsible to actually encourage other girls to explore careers in ICT. I believe that we should be mentors to others. And so this for me is something that I'm very passionate about. And so as we celebrate girls in ICT today, we must recognize that in addition to the policy makers, we're all responsible to ensure that there is no longer gender bias when it comes to careers in ICT and work cooperatively to identify and to foster the conditions which will drive our girls to want to choose these amazing careers in the ICT industry. And so I say to you girls, please enjoy today. Make sure that you take in as much knowledge as you can, explore career opportunities. And naturally, I'm hoping that some of you will be inquiring about careers in GIS. And if you really want to stop by our office any day, whether in Jamaica or in Georgetown, please let us know and some of our qualified staff will be happy to entertain you. You'll feel welcomed. So consider a career in ICT. And as I said, I have a bias. Why not make it GIS?